Have you ever wondered what a real dogfight looks like in the 21st century? Not some Hollywood-style Top Gun fantasy, but an actual moment where two fighter jets from two different eras went head-to-head -head in the skies. Welcome to Aviation Archives. Let me take you back to June 18, 2017, over the war-torn skies of northern Syria. The United States and its coalition partners were supporting local ground forces fighting ISIS. High above, the ever-vigilant American jets patrolled the skies, keeping a sharp eye on enemy movement. And then, it happened. A Syrian Air Force Sukhoi Su-22 Fitter, an old Cold War jet designed by the Soviet Union, launched from the al Shayrat Air Base. Its mission? To bomb positions held by the Syrian Democratic Forces, key allies of the US. The fitter streaked through the clouds, fast, confident, and unaware that it was being watched. Flying nearby was a US Navy F-16 Fighting Falcon, a fourth-generation multi-role jet with years of combat experience and cutting-edge tech. The pilot was Lieutenant Commander Michael Mobb Tremel. What happened next would go down in history. The F-16 moved into position, its radar painting the Su-22. Protocol demanded communication before engagement. The US issued multiple warnings through deconfliction channels. They told the Syrians to turn back. They were warned, time and again. But the Su-22 ignored every single call, and then it dropped its bombs. The line had been crossed. In an instant, Tremel was cleared to fire. He launched the first missile, an AEM-9 Sidewinder, but the old Su-22 dodged it using flares. Heartbeats raced. The sky was electric. It wasn't just speed now. It was strategy, instinct, precision. But the F-16 wasn't done. A second missile, this time an AAM-120 AM Rayam. The lock was firm. Seconds later, target destroyed. It was over. The F-16 had downed the Su-22, marking the first air-to-air -air kill by a US aircraft since 1999, the Kosovo War. But this wasn't just about a missile strike, it was a clash of eras. Soviet engineering from the 70s, facing off against precision American air power of the modern day. It was also a reminder, in a world where drones buzz and missiles fly from miles away, there's still a place for the pilot. The hunter, scanning the horizon and pulling the trigger in a split second. This dogfight wasn't just a military engagement, it was a symbol, a symbol of American readiness, of modern strategy, and the continuing evolution of aerial warfare. And it was a wake-up call. Today, the skies are more contested than ever, with jets from Russia, China, and the US constantly testing boundaries, playing cat and mouse in the clouds. What happened over Syria could happen again, anywhere, anytime. What would you do if you were in that cockpit? Would you pull the trigger? Would you trust your instincts with or the machine? Let me know in the comments. Do you think dogfights are gone forever? Or are they just evolving? If you loved this story and want more real-world aviation thrillers, Cold War chases, and legendary jet vs. jet battles, smash that like button, subscribe to Aviation Archives, and turn on the bell so you never miss what happens above our heads. Because the skies are never quiet.